Hi there, it's Lucy from Croydon and Ringwood Camera House and today we're going to show you some helpful hints and tips to create your very own photo book. Photo books are an easy and professional way to preserve and present your memories. They can make a great gift for yourself or someone special. I'm going to show you what is currently available in store and online and how to navigate the online program. The different options we have are printed, hard or soft covers, flip books and linen books. On the Croydon Ringwood website, we offer premium photo books which have a few different cover options which include linen, leather and printed. You also have the option of different paper types. These books do have a higher turnaround time but they are lay flat which means you can have images printed across two pages. They also have a wider variety of preset template options for your photos. Today we're going to go through designing an in-store linen book. We're going to cover how to upload your images, placing images and text onto the page, changing the background of your pages and some design hints and tips to make your photo books amazing. Before beginning, take the time to select which images you're going to display in your book. This cuts down the time uploading the images onto the website. You can upload the images not only from your computer, but also from Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive and Dropbox. Once the photos have been uploaded, you have an autofill option which we'll go through now. Start by dragging the images into the sequence order you'd like to have them in on your pages. Then choose a range of layout options and then if you desire a selection of background designs or colours. Remember you can change these later. Now as you can see the pages have filled with the images along with the selection of layouts and backgrounds. On the left hand side there are your photo, layout and theme tabs. The photo tab has an add photos option and also an autofill option. You can also see below all the images that you have uploaded onto the program. The layout tab is the selection of preset layout designs ranging from one to five images. The theme tab is the control of the background to the page you are currently on. On the photo page, you have the add text tool where you can add obviously text, then choose a size, font, color, and more. When you create a text box, you are able to adjust the height and width using the small blue boxes that surround the text. The bottom of your page, you can see the overview of your photo book. Here you can add or delete pages. You can also change the sequence of your pages. You'll notice a save button where you can create an account and save your work if you want to come back to it. I would advise doing this, especially on larger photo book projects. Now that you have the images filling the pages, you can tweak or change the design of each page. Add text, swap photos, adjust or change the background. Instead of pre the pre-filled option, you can design your photo book as you go, adding layouts, backgrounds, text and images page by page. To add the images to the template, you simply drag the image from the left hand bar into the space you'd like the image. The image toolbar also allows you to adjust the image once it's on the page. These include zooming, panning, cropping, rotating the image. Remember though once an image has been placed onto the page you need to use the image swap tool to change that image. Adding text to your page is a great way to title the event and even giving a little description to it. Changing the background and text can be another way to keep interest to your photo book. Another way to keep interest is making sure you don't use the same layout of the photos over consecutive pages. Also having fewer images and using hero photos means you can have large images in your photo book to enjoy. This time I didn't use a preset layout so I've had to adjust the images manually and I've used an image for the background. I do find this more laborious, but it does give a different look to this page. Using the layout tool does mean the photo book will be completed quickly and polished with all the images aligned. For the background, I use the transparency bar in the themes tab to make the image look more faded. If you choose to set the images in yourself, just remember to keep within the red lines so your photos don't get cropped off. Okay guys, time to wrap it up. So, things to remember, less is more, try to use fewer, bigger images for your photo book, changing up your layout for each of the pages, using text, and finally, having fun. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you're now inspired to create your own book. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. Happy shooting and printing!